Hey, Alan Ballard here, Constant Outdoorsman. Hey, we are back. It's getting ready for the hunting season and fish, ice fishing season, and we're gonna add some new things to our repertoire, if you will. All right, my friends. All right, gang, here we go. So, I'm gonna take you outside here. We're gonna be adding now a trailer. We got it from Harbor Freight. I'm gonna show you kind of what it put together. This wheelchair scooter carrier. Okay, we're gonna be putting it together today. And you can kind of see that's the bottom. This is the uh, top rail, and there's the ramp. Okay. Now, with that said, what we've got is we have a new machine that we've added to our um, our system. And what this is is called a snow dog. And I'm gonna show a video. I'll do a separate video on that, but uh, I'll just kind of introduce you to it. It's a single track machine. Runs with a, like a uh, Briggs and Stratton engine. And it's got a snowmobile clutch, a brake, and all that stuff. So, really super cool. Um, can't wait to put this thing on the ice this year. You can, you can get it out and about if you kind of see out behind me. I don't know if you can or not. As you can see, I'm going to take you outside. Yeah, you can see the fall colors. Yeah, see? We're getting that season. And it's it was 40 degrees today. But, here we go. A little preview of it. There she is. There's the snow dog. Yep. Very cool. So, we'll give you a breakdown of it here in just a second. I'll show you in a separate video. I'll just talk all about that, and that's going to be a separate one. But we're going to put together the, um, the trailer, and we'll see you guys in just a minute. Okay, guys. Well, we got everything laid out. And we're going to put this, start putting this together. And yes, we're using the instructions. I know what man doesn't use instructions. Got to make sure of is this one here. You can see it's got the little two slots that goes on the back for your reflectors. All right, so now you say we're going to put the top on here. So with this modification, we're gonna have to modify this part. We're gonna take this part probably off this front piece, and uh, we'll see how it fits. But um, you just kind of set it on there, and like you did on the bottom, just do the same thing on the top. Line your bolts up, put them all in. The uh, top on it, pretty solid. So now I'll make sure it's in frame here. Yeah, you kind of see got the top rail, all that on there. And uh, now we're gonna flip it over, and uh, we're gonna put the, uh, the tray. Uh, all right, let's see here. Big bolts here. Line this up. That. And then these, the big washer goes on top or on the bottom underneath there. We got her all put together there. We got the trailer hitch on. We got the the hooks, you can kind of see those. Those are the tie down hooks on each corner, which will be nice. That'll be nice to hold on to that. And then the only thing we got to do left is put the uh, ramp on. So we'll do that right now.
And then it came with these pins like this. Keep it from coming undone. I think I'm probably get something different. Um, not too crazy about those, but and there it is. So get all the tools off. You can see, it's not too heavy. And the nice thing, it does come with another hitch pin. So that's very cool. It does fit a two inch receiver. Yeah, I'm not crazy about those pins. Alright. Alright gang. Well, there we go. It's hooked up. We got it hooked up to the the Chevy Chivalrado, the Shakerado. And uh, we're gonna take this off, I know, but we're gonna pull it out and get the snow dog. I'll uh, get, get it up there and we'll see how she fits. All right, guys, we're gonna load her up on her. Good day. That's what I thought. It's gonna have to be modified. I'm gonna have to cut that front brace right there off. See, it's just too, uh, yeah, I've had to cut it right here and here. Maybe put an extension out there. All right, what we're gonna do next. All right, gang. Well, we got the trailer on and mounted. We did have to make some modifications. So one of the things I'm gonna have to do is I'm not gonna be able to put the front bracket on. Now this is a long track, all right? This is a long track machine. So it's longer than the sport. All right. Yeah. Well, we got the trailer done. You hear the motor running back there. It's warming it up. Um, we did have to make some modifications to it. So I'm going to show you that. So one of the things we're going to have to do is we're going to have to keep that front bracket off. So, and then the other one is we're going to have to make the, the ramp removable. So this is a long track machine. It's not the sport model. It's a lot short, a lot longer. Uh, by about, I'm going to say a foot and a half. So, um, we're gonna have to mod up. We had to modify our, our mounting, our loading. So, kind of, kind of give you an idea on how I've, I've kind of, I've played with it, uh, loaded it on a couple times, and then I took it and strapped it down and took off around the neighborhood and tried to swing it around. And it is kind of like wobbly this way. But that's just the receiver hitch, the two inch hitch. So it's gonna be that way. It's just, but I'm gonna get it on there centered and then take the ramp off and I'll show you. All right, 
so we got it on there so it's, it's pretty much centered on the on the, the trailer so you can kind of see the weight you know it's not really that bad and then all I'm gonna do is I get some different pins but I, I got these bolts right here I'll go to factory supply and then take this and we'll put it like right in here and then that way we're good to go. So then I'll strap it down. It's got those four um, strap hooks, the mounts right there. You know, uh, whoops, sorry about that. So, you know, one of the things that, that I've kind of learned in, in just being resourceful is making things work that doesn't work right. Um, like I said, I took it around the neighborhood and slung it back and forth. And I mean, it's, you can kind of see it's gonna move. That's just normal. There's just that little extra play in the two inch receiver hitch. Uh, there's nothing to do about that. I mean, I guess you could put a shim in there, but there's no reason to. It's not gonna go anywhere. I don't think it's gonna twist and break off. But we are gonna take this machine to Minnesota with us um, in December. So I wanna make sure this works. And plus deer season's up right now. so. That's it's kind of, you know, another thing you can use this for is to drag deer out of the woods. So I'm really excited about adding this to what we got going on. Man, what a great, what a great tool. And uh, like I said, and the other cool thing is you can actually just, I can just drive right off. And so I'll show you what I'm going to do right there. I'll show you that. So once again, what I can see happening is we have a bunch of snow or something like that. I can just right off, right off the trailer, off that little thing right there. So once again, um, that's just the hitch. I'm gonna show you that. That's not the trailer being weak. You see, that's that right there. Uh, there's nothing you can do about that. Okay, that's just part of it. So. I'm really, like I said, this is really cool for me. Um, I'm gonna be adding this into what we got going on this year. Um, they're talking about it maybe, I'm getting two reports about lots of snow or just cold weather. So we'll see what happens. All right, um, thanks a lot. Like, subscribe, share, uh, get this out there. Snow dog, uh, carrier, wheelchair scooter carrier, 500 pound capacity aluminum trailer from Harbor Freight. All right, hey, this is Consummate Outdoorsman. God bless you. Get out there and enjoy what God's created for you. Love you.